number whole number integer and rational number in previous class class 7 you have already learned what is rational number what is whole number and what is integer and you have also learned what is rational number natural number are those number which start from 1 okay natural number are those number which start from 1 and infinite See here. After this comma, there are three dots. These three dots are known as ellipses. That means we don't know which number is the last. There is a continuation. Okay. So one, two, three, four, dot, 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 dot. All are natural number. Whole number are those number which start from zero. Integer are those number where we can see positive and negative number. along with zero okay come together that time that type of a number are known as integer usually we see this this type of a number on number line where all the positive number on right hand side whereas all the negative number on left hand side and in middle there is a zero that means integer are those number where positive and negative number along with zero come together rational number now rational number the word rational in this you can see r a t i o ratio okay rational number itself says that the number are in ratios form see here minus 25 upon 3 that means minus 25 is 2 3 10 upon 7 minus 7 that is 10 is to minus 7. See here, minus 4 is here on numerator position. There is uh, denominator. There is no number. That means there is a one. See here, three positive three, eight, thirty-two upon three, sixty-seven upon five. Is that clear? Now rational number means p upon q cannot be equal to zero. In next slide, we will see the definition of rational number. also i will play one video just observe that video okay and lastly uh, after finishing that video i will ask some question to you and uh, on the base of that question you have to give me answer is that clear so let proceed students now in this slide we will learn about the definition of rational number here rational number the number of the form m upon n are called rational number which means any number can be can expressed in a fraction m upon n are known as a rational number any number that can expressed in a fraction of m upon n are called rational number here m is the numerator and n is the denominator and n both are integers m and n both are integer but n is not equal to 0 here n cannot be equal to 0 the numerator cannot be equal to 0 as i told before that rational number can uh, it is expressed in a fractional form okay so here we are writing m upon n 
Okay, so that type of a number where denominator cannot be equal to zero are known as rational number. Students, do you know here rational, the word rational, uh, one in, inside this one hidden word is there. See here, ratio. Ratio is the hidden word. Okay, that's why we have expressed this m upon n in a ratio form. m is to n which means m upon n. Is that clear? Now students, I am going to play one video in front of you. Just watch that video carefully and enjoy it. You will definitely enjoy that video and you will learn very nice things from it. Okay? So now I am going to play. Please concentrate. The word rational arises from the term ratio. The word rational arises from the term ratio. You mean that a ratio like 3 is to 2 which can also be written as 3 by 2 is a rational number? Yes. Similarly, the ratio of two integers p and q in which q is not equal to 0 can be written in the form p by q. This is the form in which rational numbers are expressed. A rational number is defined as a number that can be expressed in the form p by q where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0. Raul, now you tell. Is 4 by 5 a rational number? Yes, 4 by 5 is a rational number because it is in the form p by q where q is not equal to 0. And is minus 3 by 4 also a rational number? Yes, because p is equal to minus 3 and q is equal to 4 and both are integers. Do you know what is numerator and what is denominator? In rational number p by q, p is a numerator and q is a denominator. Uh, for example, in minus 3 by 7, the numerator is minus 3 and the denominator is 7. Amit, are integers also rational numbers? Yes. For example, the integer minus 5 is a rational number because you can write it as minus 5 by 1. Similarly, the integer 0 is a rational number because 0 can also be written as 0 by 2 or 0 by 7, etc. Do you know what do we call a rational number which has positive numerator and positive denominator? That rational number is called a positive rational number, I guess. And what are the negative rational numbers? When the numerator is a negative integer, and the denominator is a positive integer. Uh, for example, minus 4 by 7. How do we represent a rational number on a number line? Look at this number line. Points on right side of 0 are called positive integers and points on the left side of 0 are called negative integers. Let's mark 1 by 2 on this line. 1 by 2 will lie in between 1 and 0 and minus 1 by 2 will lie in between 0 and minus 1 now read this statement a rational number is said to be in the standard form if its denominator is a positive integer and the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1 that is these all rational numbers are in the standard form yes because their numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. And if the numbers are not in the standard form, then it is reduced in a standard form. For example, minus 45 by 30 is not in a standard form. We will reduce it by dividing its numerator and denominator by their HCF. Here the HCF of 45 and 30 is 15. Yes, so we will divide the numerator and denominator by 15 and we will get the rational number minus 3 by 2 which is in a standard form. If we have given two rational numbers, then can you compare them? 
No. I will tell you how to compare rational numbers. We know that the negative number is always smaller than the positive number. We can also compare the rational numbers using number line. The more the number is in the right, the greater it is. For example, 2 by 3 lies here and 1 by 3 lies here. So which one is in the right? 2 by 3. Correct. Therefore, 2 by 3 is greater than 1 by 3. Similarly, minus 1 by 3 is greater than minus 2 by 3 because minus 1 by 3 comes right to the minus 2 by 3. Can we add the rational numbers? Yes. If the denominators of the rational numbers are same, then we just add the numerators. For example, minus 11 by 5 plus 7 by 5 is equal to minus 11 plus 7 by 5, which is equal to minus 4 by 5. And if the denominators of the rational numbers are not same? In that case, firstly we find the LCM of the denominators. Here the LCM is 15. Then we find the equivalent rational numbers of the given rational numbers with this LCM as the denominator. Here, minus 7 by 5 is equivalent to minus 21 by 15. And minus 2 by 3 is equivalent to minus 10 by 15. Then add the two rational numbers. Like addition, when the denominators are same, then we just subtract the numerators and keep the denominators same. And if the denominators are not same, we find the LCM of the denominators, then we find the equivalent rational numbers of the given rational numbers with this LCM as the denominator. Then we find the equivalent rational numbers of the given rational numbers with this LCM as the denominator. Then subtract the two rational numbers. Can you guess how can we multiply rational numbers? While multiplying a rational number by a positive integer, we multiply the numerator by that integer, keeping the denominator unchanged. When we multiply the rational numbers, we multiply the numerators, then we multiply the Before starting about division, I will tell you about reciprocals. What are reciprocals? Let's take an example. The reciprocal of 2 by 7 is 7 by 2. The reciprocal of 7 by 9 is 9 by 7. Okay, okay, I got it. The reciprocal of minus 5 by 4 is 4 by minus 5. Correct. So when we divide one rational number by another rational number, we multiply the rational number. Since in previous slide, you must have seen a video. So next, this is our practice set 1.1 based on that video. So let's start practice set 1.1. It is there in your Maharashtra State Board textbook, page number 3. See here this question. I am reading this question. Listen carefully. Show the following number on a number line. Draw a separate number line for each example. Okay. In this question, there are four examples are given. Here I am solving first example. Now here the first example is 3 upon 2 comma 5 upon 2 comma minus 3 upon 2. Is that clear? See 3 upon 2, 5 upon 2 and minus 3 upon 2. It is written in a it is written in a p upon q form that is rational, rational number form. It is rational integer. Yes, 3 and 2. Both are rational integer like m and n where n is not equal to 0, that means 2 is not equal to 0. Denominator is not equal to 0. This 2 denominator is given. Now, here I am going to show you how to solve this solution. How to solve. So, here solution. I am going to draw here number line. See this? We have to draw this number line. Center, there is a 0. Now, right hand side, positive rational integer. Left hand side, denote negative rational integer. Okay. Now, see, we have to take the distance of 2, 0. 
वन टू वन अगेन वन टू टू देन अगेन वन टू थ्री ओके सेम सिमिलरली वी हैव टू डू ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वन टू माइनस वन अगेन लीव दिस माइनस वन वन टू माइनस टू देन अगेन लीव दिस माइनस टू वन टू माइनस थ्री इज दैट क्लियर यस आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग दिस नंबर लाइन वी विल प्लॉट ऑल दिस थ्री नंबर इन दिस नंबर लाइन इज दैट क्लियर so as we know that there are two rational there are two rational positive rational number positive rational integer and one negative rational integer so these two positive rational integer on right hand side and this negative rational integer only one okay one negative rational integer on left hand side so here 3 upon 2 see here 0 1 2 Three. So here we will write three upon two. Three. Then four. Then five. Here we will write five upon two. See this number line. Yes. Zero. One, two, three. See. Three upon two. Is that clear? Three upon two. Now again. Three, four, five. Now this five upon two. Is that clear, students? Now on right hand side, same we have to do. One, two, three. So minus three upon two on left hand side. Is that clear? Shall I explain you one more time? Yes. Pay attention. First we have to draw a number line. Yes. We have to draw here a simple number line. Right. Between there is zero. Right in between, zero. Now, right hand side positive rational integer. Left hand side negative rational integer. We have to take the distance two. So, in between there is we have to put here zero. After that, we have to take a distance two. So one two one. Now one two two. Now one two three. Is that clear? Right hand side positive rational integer done. Now we will move to left hand side negative integer. See here zero. One, two. Here I will write minus one. One, two, minus two. One, two, minus three. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, fine. Now we will put all these three rational integer on number line. As we know that there are two positive rational integer and one negative rational integer. So this negative rational integer on left hand side and this two positive rational integer on right hand side. So again, we will see here or concentrate. Okay, see how we will do. Yes. Now same number line, same number line we have used. See this same number line. Just I have. Plotted all these three number on number line. See zero, one, two, one, zero, one, two, two. Now one, two, three. Now here three upon two. We have to put this three upon two on our number line. So here one, two, three. So we will write here three upon two, and we will show this arrow. Okay, this will indicate that this is the position of three upon two. This is the position of three upon Now the next number five upon two. After this three, the next number is four, then five. So here this is the position of five upon two. Okay. So both these positive rational integer done. Now move to left hand side. There is a number minus three upon two. So here zero left hand side one two three. See here. So we will write here minus three upon two on left hand side. Is that clear, students? Yes. So, I am. Uh, so, solve this uh, question in your mathematics notebook or any book. So, we will do question number one, sub question two, in next slide.